What's going on? We just left Costco. I'm with Adrian, our head of growth. And we're about to hit the Irvine Spectrum to buy the Apple Vision Pro. Adrian, why are we buying the Apple Vision Pro? We're building apps in the metaverse, baby. We're about to find <laughs> out if you can build apps without writing code for Apple Vision Pro, or even just by using the Apple Vision Pro. Imagine like sitting on your couch in the metaverse, building apps based on any crazy idea that you have. We're about to find out if it's truly possible if Andrew doesn't kill me with Ludacris Plus on in his Model S. Hey Adrian, show me what happens when you punch it in Ludacris Plus. <laughs> I did just go on the Apple website and I see that you have to book a demo to purchase an Apple Vision Pro. I haven't booked a demo and we're actually not even sure if they have it in stock, but let's give it a shot. Let's see if they sell it to people who just walk up. So they should uh, have parking spots for people with Vision Pro, you know? The Cyber Truck! Damn! All right, here we go. That is what we want right now. Can we build an app with a Vision Pro? That's what we're about to find out. So part of the process to buy a Vision Pro is to actually size your head. What you see here is Adrian using the Apple app to size his big ass head and hopefully we share the same size. All right, so we got it. We got the Apple Vision Pro and it's time to set this thing up and unbox it. You know, Apple, they make all their boxes extra. Hope this is a good experience. Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that, Adrian? Nice. They just have it right that there like crazy. that. What does that look like to you? The future. Wow. Okay, so they have this little extra protector piece. You know, Apple, always extra. Damn, that's crazy. So they have it wrapped up in this fabric, right? And it's like very premium. Like I didn't expect it to be this premium. I think we have an Oculus here around the house and that kind of feels a little plasticky, but this is like that Apple known polymer and you have a very like sweat absorbent padding right here around the eyes. That is crazy. Very cool. So the question is, how do you turn this on? And how do we give it a shot? And you have these two cameras right here, four cameras in total kind of looking out in front of you. Actually, no, there's one, two, three, four, five, six cameras out looking in front. I'm not sure if you can see that. So here, let's give this a shot. Whoa. This, the fit is very snug. Like I truly feel like it's sitting on my face. And if I move my head around, it actually feels quite comfortable. I, I don't have any complaints. Okay, so after a few seconds of fiddling with it, Adrian just reminded me that you need to have an external battery pack. So let's protect this back up, we'll set it here, and let's go hunt for that external battery pack, shall we? Okay, here we go. So we have the light seal cushion. It looks like we have an additional cushion in case we want to seal more light. They've given us an additional cushion. I'll leave this in the box because I think for now it's okay. And then we're also given an owner's manual, but who really reads the manual these days? Okay, so here we have a dual loop band in case it's not tight enough. I'm sure you can use that to improve the fitting. And then here is the battery pack that we've been looking for. So in order to use the Vision Pro for the first time, you have to have this battery pack. I'm not sure if you have to have it on the entire time, but honestly, based on what it looks like, I'm not even sure how Apple would fit uh, a significant size battery in here. So the battery pack kind of makes sense. Um, it probably is a bit inconvenient and just like a hassle to carry around, but, um, but I'm sure this is necessary for all the power that the Vision Pro is about to output. Okay, so we have a battery pack and then we have Apple's signature charger. And then as for the charger, it looks like a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the battery pack and it is a metal connection point in which they give you a circle right here on the battery connector and two circles here on the Vision Pro headset itself. So your job is to take the circle on the connector, match it up with the hollow circle on the Apple Vision Pro and then turn the connection until you see the light turn white like that. Now I believe my Apple Vision Pro has power and it's time to give it a shot. Gorgeous. 
Okay, I'm starting to see some energy inside the Vision Pro headset, but nothing just yet. I'm gonna tap on the left button and hold it. I'm still seeing some more energy, but nothing has turned on. Okay, cool. Now I see this beautiful image right in front of me. Honestly, guys, this thing is gonna take me some time to set up, so I'm gonna end this video. We have an exciting future planned with the Apple Vision Pro. We're gonna be building a lot of stuff, filming a lot of content, and talking all about the future of AI, the metaverse, no code, and everything else that Ambitious Labs is on the bleeding edge of. I'll see you in the next video. Yo, Adrian! Yo!